17 times interstate clubs had made the trip to Collingwood's historic home ground at Victoria Park. Only the West Coast Eagles in 1993 had ever won. A huge task for the Crows in round six. Inaccuracy would be costly. While Modra kicked five majors, he also kicked five minors as well. So far to Tony Modra, and that one looks like it might be 29. It is, because Vardy sends it straight back. Big pack of players, Collingwood in front, that was Richardson. Now Modra off the ground if he can. Looks pretty good, Tony Modra for his third. The most contentious score of the day was Richard Osborne's goal, apparently well after the quarter time siren. In the end, it would play a major bearing on the result. Williams intended for Buckley that might be a high tackle umpire lets it go Barty dribbles it along the ground Brown knock on by Buckley again snap it goal down there by Williams it's close what on the goal umpire I think it's there he's kicked it doesn't seem to be a free kick finding Watson half back goes across the ground to Marcus and Conrad have done this well with Marcus playing loose man he tries to play quickly gets caught Williams bringing the crowd off half back Adelaide's or one of Adelaide's best so far long kick one of Modra! About 30 metres out, only a slight angle. Straight through the middle for Tony Modra. Modra on a lead. Brown gets back. Francis will rush it through. McCartney might have kicked it. I think he has. Goal umpire will get up. The field umpire says, all clear, it's there. A sloppy third quarter in which the Crows kick 1 5 would cost them dearly. Collingwood by a point. Take the mark. Courage from Brown. Ducks Ooh. his head. Bickley takes him high. And he's called ducking. He paid holding the ball. This umpire Kennedy's calling it. He ducked his head. Yep. He's caught. So I think that, I mean, he was a bit unlucky. And, uh, nevertheless, I think there's one situation where the play with the ball wasn't given a great opportunity. Well, Buckley, Bickley directly in front. Puts the Crows seventh on the ball. And the recipient is going to be Costa. Kim Costa wastes no time. Drive it in long. Modra! Yes. Oh, oh, what a great grab. And Tony Francis coming off being replaced by Alex McDonald as Modra lining up for his fifth. He's pretty happy with that. This is number five. I think he's coming off. Scott Crow. Shoulder looks uh, a bit second hand. Oh. oh, great mark, Edwards. Wonkhorst, caught flat foot and he goes at goal. Has he sprayed it? I think it might be there. We'll wait on the goal and pirate is. It's a goal. Goes to kick long, wants to move it forward. Stanfield and Modra in the pack. No one can mark it. Vardy gets a rush kick. Caven directly in front. Drives it through for the Crows. One point the difference. Modra to 32 in six games. Costa, Modra and McLeod the best. I thought that we controlled the game for most of the day. But one of the things was that there were about half the team had never been there. Collingwood had a pretty good record against the Crows, mainly in Melbourne because of playing at Victoria Park. But I, 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 it was a terrific game of football. And, and one of the pleasing things about the game, I remember, is that the siren went. Obviously, Collingwood were pretty happy. But I thought the Collingwood crowd clapped very loudly as we walked off the ground, you know, the group of players. I thought they'd actually acknowledged that perhaps the Adelaide Football Club had done something, although they didn't win. They, in fact, put some fair effort into it.